Hi all, welcome back to my channel Prack at Work. Today I'm going to show you guys this really quick and easy everyday makeup look that you can wear to work, to run errands or even when you're in press of time but still need to look your presentable best. Over skin that is already moisturized and has sunscreen on, I use my favorite primer, the Benefit Professional Primer. This gives my skin that instant matte look blurring out any pores and lines. I use my hands to smooth out the product. I then use my MAC Dark Concealer Palette to brighten up my eyelids and under my eyes. I'm patting this product onto my eyelids with my ring finger using very little pressure. Remember to be gentle around this area because the skin there is much thinner. Using a mix of two shades from the same palette, I conceal pigmentation around my nose, around my mouth and wherever else I have spots on my skin using my fingers in a dabbing motion. Many of you may not have as much discoloration as I do, so you can just tweak this step to just your under eyes or any areas where you have spots or just skip this step altogether. Now taking my Studio Fix Powder from MAC in shade C7 with a fluffy brush, I buff the product all over my face. The Studio Fix Powder is my favorite foundation powder because it gives my skin great coverage, goes on smooth, matte and makes my skin look flawless and fresh. What I also love about this product is that it's a one-step application of both foundation and powder and perfect for days where I'm in a hurry or in a press of time. To bring some warmth to my cheeks, I'm using the NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in shade 13 with a blush brush. This step is entirely optional but I'm absolutely addicted to the dimension that it brings my cheeks. I'm also using the same product, sweeping it onto my eyelids for a wash of colour using the 224 brush from MAC. For my eyes, I'm using Maybelline Colossal Kajal and scribbling it across my bottom lash line in back and forth strokes. I like my Kajal pretty thick and dark and I also like extending its tip out a little bit like I'm doing here. Now I'm also using the same Kajal to do my tight line which is my upper water line. This step makes your eyelashes look nice and full. Now I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow with a pencil brush and I'm going over the area where I applied my coal in order to soften any harsh lines and also help the kajal set. Now I'm wetting the same brush with some water or setting spray and taking the same brown eyeshadow and sweeping it across my upper eyelid in the place of my eyeliner. I find it easier to do and also a softer look for the day. Now I'm taking the Maybelline Fall Tease Push Up Drama Mascara and I'm using generous coats on my lashes to make them look longer and fuller. This was the first time I was using this mascara and I really loved how it made my lashes look clump free and fanned out. Moving on to my brows, I'm using an angled brush with the same dark brown eyeshadow and filling in my brows using sharp strokes towards the direction of hair growth. For my lips, I'm using the Revlon Matte Balm in shade Fierce 265. This is a warm cinnamony brown and it is a balm-like formula which has a velvety matte finish. But it goes on quite smooth. This is not very long wear so remember that it needs touch up every 3-4 hours. To set my makeup and make it last longer, I'm using a few sprays of my favourite setting spray Slay All Day from Gerard Cosmetics. Now that I'm done with my look, I'm putting my Studio Fix Powder and my lip balm in my pouch for touch-ups. This way, you can look fresh and put together all day. There is no one standard or specific way one must do their everyday makeup look, but this is just my take on an everyday makeup look. I just wanted to share it with you guys. And I've used minimal products and just five basic brushes for this look. So I hope you guys find it really easy to recreate. I had a lot of fun making this video for you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Do let me know what are the makeup looks you'd like to see from Prack at Work so you can work it. Bye bye!